Hey everybody, welcome to the next video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss file permission. Uh, remember in the last video, I was talking about uh, the long list in which we had some user privileges. In this, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, the user privileges or the file permission. Okay, so if we hit ls negative l, you can see here, this is the long list. Uh, and here, uh, you can say what, what, what is this? So, the idea is that this first portion, it, it's actually divided in like three uh, options. So let's, we would see it for file one, which is a text file. So here, uh, this first portion is for owners. Okay. So these are the privileges of the owner and these are the privileges of the group. Okay. Group on a network maybe. And these are the privileges of public like anyone uh, could you know do that so you could say that what is uh, you know r w and what is this x okay so and what is this d so i would explain it to you so r first of all here r stands for read w stands for right so it means that the owner has the permissions of uh, reading and writing and the group has the permission of reading and writing and the public only can read the file okay so d stands for directory and x stands for execution i i hope you're taking notes and you're already you are writing them down okay so uh, I'm going to repeat it. So D stands for directory, R stands for read, W stands for, um, you know, write, X stands for execute, and R stands for write again. So here, these are the rights of the owner. So owner can do almost everything. Okay. So then we have group. Group can execute and read. All right. And then we have public, which can only execute or the other user. So uh, I'm going to prepare a cheat sheet here so that you could like, you know, you could understand it in a better way. So uh, you can take it like this. So U is for user. G is for group. And O is for other, other users. Okay. Or other people from outside world all right so now what you can do is that um, okay let me go back here let me just um, make it like this all right so here uh, you can actually change permissions for the file so let's say we have this file one and we want to change its permission uh, for let's say public or for other users and we want to do it like let's say we want to add a write privilege here we want the public to be able to write our file so how do we do that uh, we, we write a fairly a simple command right now you need to notice that file one uh, these are the privileges and here we are going to add w so how do we do that so we write here a command chmr or chmod and we write here o for other users because we are going to uh, perform the change for other users so we are going to write here o and what function that we want to add it's you know w the writing okay so then we write the file name which is like file one all right and then we hit enter and it's done so now if we go back you can see that file one we have added w r and w you know successfully okay so that's how uh, you can do it you can even take that privilege back like for example if you want to take this w back how would you do that you would write the command chm odd or chmod then you will write here o negative w then file name which is file one 
you hit enter and then you check the long list and here this is the file one and you have successfully removed the writing privileges right so that's that's fairly simple that's how uh, you can do it okay so you can say that what if i want to do it for all the files at once so just remember that the, this is like for educational purpose uh, you can also use it to you know hacks and computers but uh, we don't recommend it it is just for educational purpose okay so it was mandatory to you know um, mention it here so next uh, what if we want to change all the uh, privileges or the permissions at once so first of all we uh, want to know about some numbers okay so for it stands for because we are going to use them in a command all right so it stands for read and let me just copy it then we have two it stands for write for execute we have number one and for zero we have like it's no permission no permission is uh, equivalent to this negative sign that we have here right here before x we have negative uh, or right after r we have this negative sign it means that uh, no permission so it's equivalent to zero all right so now the command that would we could write would be like chmrd uh, 754 and our file was file one so you can say that what the hell is that um, 754 um, you could say that we have four for read two for write one for execute zero for no permission so then why do we have seven and five let me explain that to you uh, you know this four uh, this is the digit that is going uh, going to deal with the uh, other users okay this five is going to deal with the permissions of the group okay and this seven is going to deal with the permissions of owner all right so right uh, right now this four uh, represents reading so it means that for the uh, this one here it only has permission to read okay so you have given the permission of reading only to other users then group it has five like if we add four plus one it's five so it means that the group has the permission to read and it also has the permission to execute okay so here and then we'd write seven it means that four two one it it all it has all the permission it has reading permission it has writing permission it has executing permission so this seven is for owner this five is for group and this four is for uh, other users so i hope you have uh, got the point i have explained in detail and briefly i hope you have liked today's video this video i'll see you in the next video